Number five wants us to simplify. This is going to be very similar to the number three that we just did. I, all I'm doing is combining like terms. So I have 8t to the third plus 4y minus 3t to the third plus 2y minus 2t squared. So t to the third, I see that twice, right? Those are like terms. I'm going to put them together. Okay, and when I do that, it's not like terms with this one because it's just a square. It has to be cubed. So 8 minus 3 is 5. t to the third stays the same. Then I have this 4y plus 2y, and that gives us 4 plus 2 is 6y. Bring down your negative 2t squared. Okay. On number 6, it wants us to graph this. All you're doing is graphing a point. Okay. So I'm going to use some lines. I can't draw a very straight line with my tablet here. Okay, so here it is. So negative 3, remember ordered pairs are always x, y. So negative 3 would be on my x axis. So from the origin, I'm going to go left 1, 2, 3. And then on the y axis, from where I've traveled, I'm going to go up 2. So 1, 2. So I'm going to move left 1, 2, 3, up 1, 2, this is my point. This is negative 3, 2. Final answer on that one. On number 7, it says to list the data values. It's very likely that you'll have to do this on your test. When you are listing them, they need to be in order with commas in between. You will have to type them in on your test. Make sure that you list every single one. So I would have 11, 15, 18, comma, and then I go to the next one, which is 50, comma, 52, comma, 53, comma, all the way through. Next line, I have 70. Next line, I have 91, and I have to show it both times. Okay, so I would enter this in. I will probably tell you to not use spaces so that it will auto grade it correctly. Okay. Make sure you have commas between and that you list every single one. And if they show up more than once, you show it more than once on your list. All right, on eight, wants us to solve for m. So I'm trying to get m by itself. It's right here. I want it all by itself. So I'm going to move the farthest thing away that's on the same side, which is going to be this negative 12. The opposite of negative is a positive. And what I do to one side, I've got to do to the other. So I have... 8m equals 34 plus 12 is 46. Now to get m completely by itself, I'm going to divide by 8 on both sides. And this isn't going to work out evenly, and that's okay. Let's not freak out about it. I could reduce this top and bottom by 4. And if I do that, I get 1. Oh, I can't do it by 4. I'm going to do it by 2. Excuse me. So I would get 23 over 4, which I could simplify further, and I could make it a mixed number instead of an improper fraction, which would be 5 and 3 fourths. Or I could say it's 5.75. I would take any version of those answers. Okay.